Hello and welcome to Radford University's online tutorial about the iTunes Store. The iTunes Store is used to browse and download applications for the iPod Touch. This can be done either directly from your iPod Touch or from your laptop. In this tutorial, you will learn how to navigate the iTunes Store from your laptop, how to download an application to your computer, and how to sync it to your iPod Touch. To get started, first click the iTunes icon on the dock. This will open the main window of iTunes. Choose the green iTunes Store icon on the left-hand pane. In the iTunes Store, users can download music, movies, TV shows, applications, podcasts, or audiobooks. You can also access iTunes U from the iTunes Store. To select a category to download from, click the corresponding button along the top of the iTunes window. These buttons are black and white text. For this tutorial, we will download an application. To do so, first click App Store. New and noteworthy apps are shown on the home page. To search the store, use the keyword search in the top right hand corner. In this tutorial, we will search for Computer Carl. Push the return button to search. Click the Computer Carl icon to open. Since this is a free app, we will not need to enter any credit card information to download. Click the free app button to download. You will be prompted to enter your Apple ID and password. If you do not have an Apple account, pause the video now to create a new account. If you already have an account, proceed with entering your password. And choose Get, which is highlighted in blue. To sync Computer Carl to your iPad Touch, first plug in your iPod using the USB cord. The device should now show up on the left hand pane. Click your device. Select the Applications tab at the top of the window and place a check mark next to each application that you wish to sync to your iPod Touch. You can also use iTunes to arrange the order in which the applications will appear on your iPod Touch screen. If you look to the right of the iTunes window, you will see a visual representation of the way the screen will appear on the iPod Touch. I recommend using a separate page for each subject so that students can easily find the applications they are supposed to be working on. For example, I might want to put all of my math applications on the same page. To do this, I will click the application icon and drag to add to the correct page. Click and drag. I now have all of my math applications on the same page. When you are finished arranging, click the Apply button to sync to your iPod. Remember, you can add more than one application at the same time. When you are finished, be sure to choose the Eject button on the left-hand pane before unplugging your iPod. To review, in this tutorial, you learned how to navigate the iTunes Store from your laptop, how to download an application to your computer, and how to sync that application to your iPod Touch.